beta 2. What's beta 2 here? So beta 2, I like to think of it as, here's your beta 2. I actually like to think of it as two betas side to side. What's that for? Well, beta 2, if you can sum it up in one word, it is expands. So what's beta 2 do? Really, it's expanding cyclic AMP, increasing. That's really going to relax smooth muscle in a lot of places. Smooth muscle relaxation. OK, specifically, what are we talking about? Well, it has some beta 1 effects. We're doing the heart or whatever, beta 1 like effects. I'll just say that but a lot less than beta 1. The big thing is that beta 2 is going to do 1. Works on the lungs. That's number 1, probably. That's why uh, you take your albuterol inhaler. What's it going to do? It's going to expand your bronchi. Expand. It actually inhibits mass cell uh, histamine, uh, really. So it has a double whammy there on uh, affecting the lungs. OK, what else is it going to do? Blood vessels. Part of your fight or flight. Increase the uh, flow through your blood. It's expanding your blood flow. What else? It's expanding uh, glucose supply. It can increase gluconeogenesis. Increase glycogenolysis. And increase insulin re release so that you can get more glucose in your blood cells and other cells. All right. What else? Let's say it's expanding the uterus. Smooth muscle relaxation in the uterus. Helps a woman to uh, maintain her pregnancy longer. At least so that she won't deliver. That's why we use terbutaline. I'll put our butyrol up here. It's beta, both beta 2 agonists. All right, what else is it expanding? Expanding saliva. It's expanding protein secretion in your saliva to increase protein in saliva. So we have beta 1 effects, lung effects, blood vessel, glucose, uterus, and expanding saliva. Good. So beta 2 expands. That's all this beta 2.